Hello, and thank you for tuning in to our channel. Before we dive in, we need a small favor from you. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe, thumbs up, and notification buttons below, so you can stay updated on all our latest videos. Today, we are initiating a practical exercise focused on the coordination between infantry and armored vehicles in a real combat scenario. I need to take into account the differences in terrain utilization between the two types of vehicles, as well as the disparities in their firepower. Additionally, I must consider the safety distance between myself and the infantry fighting vehicle, which presents a highly challenging task for me as the commander of the command vehicle. What issues are causing the fluctuating speed of Tiger 1? We have set up earth mounds, embankments, and trenches for this exercise. It is critical to determine whether the tank or the infantry fighting vehicle should occupy the earth mounds first, especially since there are no earth mounds in the right front to provide cover. I believe that the order given was incorrect, as it involved placing the floating mine in the middle to rear section of the road, which complicates the task for our infantry when they dismount to clear the mines. Each vehicle is to deploy into a battle formation, ready to surge forward with determination. The Type 99A tank boasts significantly enhanced firepower compared to earlier models, featuring greater integration in armor that effectively withstands firepower strikes from multiple directions. The fire control system is highly advanced, capable of achieving the effect of detecting and eliminating targets instantaneously. The 04A infantry fighting vehicle possesses significantly greater mobility and diversified firepower compared to traditional models, and the objective of coordinating operations between infantry fighting vehicles and tanks is to fully leverage each vehicle's strengths while compensating for the other's weaknesses, thereby achieving a combined effectiveness that is greater than the sum of its parts. In the vast grasslands and the expansive desert, how do our armored warriors hone their combat skills to maximize the effectiveness of these land warfare assets? It is crucial to conduct a thorough check for any foreign objects around the turret to ensure that nothing obstructs our ability to fire when the cannon is turned. Furthermore, shortly, you should go inside to check whether the indicator light is functioning properly. Left 2, Zhang Kai, who has served for 16 years, has previously held the positions of tank gunner for 3 years and tank commander for 10 years. Hurry up, hurry up! In everyday situations, we refer to this individual as Kai Ji Kai, as he is a communications technician, this designation can either be Kai Ji or simply Kai, and we often address each other in this manner. Attention all crew members, be advised that there are armor-piercing rounds in the left front area, and we must eliminate the target referred to as Kai Ji, a title that acknowledges Zhang Kai's exceptional technical proficiency among many tank operators. In reality, the pursuit of tactical mastery is an endless journey, with no definitive endpoint. In the coming days, Zhang Hai will face an entirely new challenge, as the upcoming training involves overcoming obstacles, which places considerable demands on the performance of the vehicles. For instance, it is essential to check whether the tracks are loose and to inspect the track plates for any cracks, as significant mobility is required when traversing obstacles. Should the track plates be loose or show signs of cracking, it could potentially lead to damage to the equipment. Commanding a tank is already second nature for Zhang Hai, however, in the upcoming challenge, he will not only be responsible for directing the tank but also multitasking to coordinate the infantry fighting vehicles as they collectively navigate a series of obstacles while engaging targets, presenting an entirely new level of challenge for him. Is he capable of accomplishing this task? For instance, if there is advantageous terrain ahead, my first directive should be to instruct the infantry fighting vehicle to utilize that beneficial terrain, while maneuvering through pathways or providing cover for the infantry as they dismount to execute their mission, I must also consider the safety distance between myself and the infantry fighting vehicle. Additionally, while I am focusing on maximizing our firepower, I must be vigilant to ensure that my actions do not inadvertently cause harm to the personnel aboard the infantry vehicle. This situation presents a profoundly challenging task for me as the commander of the command vehicle. In order to create a more realistic battlefield environment, the assessment and evaluation team has introduced numerous new obstacles, and they will also provide spontaneous, simulated scenarios. These uncertainties create a sense of unease within Zhang Kai. 
Today, we are conducting tactical training focused on the coordination between infantry and tanks within a real combat context, with the goal of enhancing everyone's ability to work together effectively and improve our coordinated firing capabilities under realistic conditions. Comrades, are you all clear on the preparations? The weather on the grasslands can change rapidly, just a moment ago, the sky was bright and clear, but in an instant, it became overcast with thick clouds, which introduces many unknown challenges to this training exercise. Just now, we were hesitant to take on the apprentices. As we swiftly advance into this area, we have established earth mounds, embankments, and trenches that are continuously being formed, therefore, it is crucial to effectively utilize these cover elements so that our tanks can maximize their firepower while providing protection for all vehicles, especially for the infantry fighting vehicles that are positioned in advantageous terrain, thus allowing us to fully exploit our infantry's operational capabilities. Dong Dong, I am the hunter. Each vehicle is to deploy according to the predetermined plan, initiating a coordinated assault, the current situation for the hunters is that higher command has opened a pathway for you, but there are still floating mines that must be dealt with as you approach the enemy's forward obstacle area. Zhang Hai received the first directive from the induction station, which instructed him to eliminate the residual floating mines in the minefield. After the order was issued, as Zhang Hai coordinated with the infantry fighting vehicle over the radio and observed a mound of earth cover on his right side, his instinctive reaction almost led him to make a critical mistake. At that moment, my immediate thought was to seize the advantageous terrain, specifically the mound of earth directly in front of me on the right. I felt that the command given at that time was incorrect. The armor protection of a tank is significantly higher than that of an infantry fighting vehicle. The infantry dismounting from the infantry fighting vehicle to clear mines and breach obstacles faces a greater risk of being targeted by enemy fire. The infantry fighting vehicle on my right was positioned closer to the mound of earth cover, which meant that the right side mound should be utilized by the infantry fighting vehicle instead. Therefore, once I realized the implications of this issue, I promptly issued a new command to the entire crew, emphasizing that since there was no mound on the right front to provide cover, the infantry should dismount and proceed to clear the mines ahead. Once the advantageous terrain was secured, Zhang Kai was immediately confronted with a new dilemma, as at that moment, our vehicle was loaded with live ammunition. If I were to detect enemy forces ahead and needed to eliminate them, I would have to consider the fact that the infantry was currently dismounted and advancing to clear mines, this situation would pose a risk of inflicting harm on our own troops. First and foremost, as a gunner, it is my responsibility to ensure the safety of the infantry, which means that the muzzle of my cannon must always be oriented toward the target area. In military operations, there exists a guiding principle that emphasizes the importance of preserving one's own forces while simultaneously eliminating the enemy. The concept of unmanned equipment exemplifies this principle of self-preservation to the greatest extent. In terms of modern warfare, the utilization of unmanned systems has become a standard practice. After coordinating with the infantry fighting vehicles to traverse a series of obstacles, Zhang Hai noticed that the daylight had begun to fade significantly. One, next, he would face an even greater challenge, which was to coordinate with the infantry fighting vehicle to conduct lift-fire shooting exercises. This aspect of the training was also the most crucial element of his current joint infantry and armor coordination exercise. He reminded himself that there could be no room for error whatsoever. After all, Zhang Kai is a seasoned veteran with previous service experience, and he possesses a deeper affection for the title of soldier, he recalls feeling that after his first discharge, returning to school gave him a sense of nostalgia for the military, and upon graduating, he felt a strong emotional connection to the army, as if he hadn't had enough of military life. He firmly believes that a man should serve in the military. Upon re-enlisting, Zhang Hai joined a distinguished unit known for its honor, recognized as a model battalion for its dedication to military training. As a member of this esteemed unit, Zhang Kai is particularly eager to seize every opportunity to bring honor to his battalion. Our battalion is the only unit in peacetime that has been awarded an honorary title, it is recognized as a model battalion for its commitment to military training, and since joining, the soldiers in our battalion have. 
He felt that his arrival at this battalion was truly distinctive and set apart from any other experience. As a result, in both training and daily life, he held himself to even stricter standards than usual. For Zhang Kai, transitioning from a tank commander to a position where he simultaneously directs both tanks and infantry fighting vehicles in coordinated operations is not only a personal challenge but also a battle that concerns honor. As the final live-fire exercise approached, one pressing question lingered, would Zhang Kai successfully coordinate with the infantry fighting vehicle to hit the target? This task became even more critical as Tiger-1, the designated enemy tank, prepared for action, after both the tank and the infantry fighting vehicle completed their firing sequences, Zhang Hai's tank crew suddenly received an unexpected directive from the evaluation team, which momentarily threw him into a state of confusion. All crew members were alerted to the fact that the automatic loading mechanism had malfunctioned, and they were to switch to manual loading procedures instead. 1. Our equipment experiences almost no malfunctions when it comes to automatic loading. However, we have conducted extensive training on troubleshooting automatic loading issues during our routine drills. Therefore, after hesitating for a second or two, I promptly issued a command to the entire crew to switch to manual loading. Just as Zhang Kai was dealing with this unexpected situation and transitioning to manual loading, the commander of the infantry fighting vehicle, Song Hong, reacted swiftly and quickly expanded his search area, taking on the responsibility of locating enemy targets for the tank. At this moment, I instructed my gunner to broaden the search range while simultaneously considering the firepower line of the tank to collectively engage and eliminate targets at a distance in front of us. I commanded my crew to extend our search radius, urging everyone to charge forward together. 1. Drawing on the wealth of experience accumulated during routine training, Zhang Hai and his crew swiftly completed the manual loading of the cannon and successfully hit the target, marking the first successful execution of live fire training in coordination with the infantry fighting vehicle, which brought Zhang Hai new insights and achievements. During the coordinated training exercises with the infantry fighting vehicle, I had to consider the differences in terrain utilization between the two types of vehicles, the distinctions in their firepower capabilities, and the fact that the infantry fighting vehicle would require its personnel to dismount. While I was providing cover for it, I also needed to maintain a safe distance from the infantry fighting vehicle, among other considerations that I had to keep in mind. Meanwhile, in the northwest Gobi Desert, a live-fire assessment featuring multiple types of equipment was about to commence for a certain combined arms brigade of the 82nd Group Army, where the new recruit, Chen Yu, was preparing to face his own fresh challenges amid swirling sands. At this moment, all positions at the self-propelled howitzer, rocket launcher, and anti-tank missile launch sites were locked onto their targets, awaiting the launch command. Range, 300, direction. 2400, shooter, prepare to fire. 1, 7, cannon, adjust, good, range, 320.4, direction, 34, 43.6. Report good, each person counts 60 beams. This was the first time that the new recruit, Ching Yu, stepped into the camera's view. At this moment, he was participating in a fun training exercise at the rocket launcher position. 4, 7, 4, 8, 4, 9, 5, 4, 5, 1, 5, 2, 5, 3, 5, 4, 5, 5, does counting beans feel good? Don't talk, then surprise us, he was instructed, but ultimately, he was the one who had to run back after completing the task, placing the green beans on the table, realizing that something was amiss, and then he began to count, feeling rather bewildered. Squad leader, why is new recruit Ching Yu counting beans at the position? What does this have to do with launching rockets? The 122mm track self-propelled rocket launcher that Chun Yu's unit was operating is a high-performance weapon system known for its powerful capabilities and excellent mobility. It can launch a large number of rockets in a very short time, with a quick firing rate and effective surprise attack potential, allowing it to engage distant and deep targets while also participating in live-fire rocket exercises. It has always been Chen Yu's heartfelt wish to participate in live-fire exercises. 
With a cheerful and sunny disposition, Chen Yu is a natural optimist. The fact that he couldn't sleep the previous night was still worth it to him. However, in the eyes of his squad leader, Dai Longfei, Chen Yu's cheerful nature lacks the steadiness that is essential for a qualified artilleryman. During our live fire exercises, there is a significant fear of making mistakes that could lead to irreversible losses. To further cultivate his focus and attention to detail in the workplace, the squad leader decided to assign Chen Yu a new responsibility during this assessment. In our regular training sessions, we often employ various methods to develop our skills, but for now, that information will remain confidential. As a newly enlisted recruit, being able to participate in live fire exercises fills Chen Yu with immense pride. Each day, he puts in considerable effort into mastering the loading drills with great determination. Just when he felt fully prepared and brimming with confidence, squad leader Dai Longfei informed him that he would not be performing the loading duties during this assessment. I want to observe how he handles himself during the live fire exercise, especially under emergency conditions. I want to see what kind of mindset he has and whether he can maintain his composure at such a critical moment. It turns out that squad leader Dai Longfei had intentionally decided to assign Chen Yu the role of gunner three days before the assessment to develop his attentiveness and patience. Initially, upon receiving this news, I felt a bit doubtful about my own abilities, and I expressed my concerns to the squad leader, asking, is this really something I can do? Can I handle this position? Lower your arm a bit. Although squad leader Dai Longfei entrusted this important responsibility to Chin Yu, he still felt a bit uneasy. After all, the gunner is considered the eye of the rocket launcher, and it is crucial that he remains calm and focused. So, what connection could there possibly be between the beam counting exercise and the task of aiming? Counting beans while bearing a load primarily tests the gunner's ability to maintain a calm mindset and focus on aiming even under stressful conditions, ensuring that he can act quickly and accurately. 30, 313, 252, 6, 2, 10, 5, 2, 8, 2, 6. Since the soldiers had just completed a shuttle run, their brains were still in a state of oxygen deprivation, if they miscounted, they would have to start all over again. If counting green beans is merely an appetizer that the squad leader arranged for the gunners, then the next exercise, counting millet, would be the main course, presenting a true challenge to their limits. Each person counts 60 grains, begin. 4, 5, 3, 30, 45, counting millet, does it feel good? Is it breezy? Not too breezy? This wind is too strong, aren't you making it difficult for us? This is not just a strong wind in the northwest Gobi Desert, for the soldiers, it has long since become a familiar experience. However, under such weather conditions, counting millet presents a considerable level of difficulty, it's already hard to see, and after just finishing a sprint, the wind is so fierce. It's practically impossible to count, what should we do? The volume is too loud. For the new recruit Chen Yu, completing these training exercises is challenging enough, but the difficulty is continuously ramping up, he was told to stop talking, and the squad leader instructed everyone to keep the noise down around the gunner. Yet, the squad leader had more plans in store, as everyone constantly posed various questions to Chen Yu to distract him. The previously lively and energetic Chen Yu, now in the role of gunner, gradually adapted to a state of tuning out the outside world, blocking out all distractions. He needed to focus on what it feels like to rely on artificial surround sound. During actual combat, the gunner must perform rapid and precise calculations. In a battlefield filled with deafening noise, training to resist distractions becomes especially crucial. 1. I have been striving to keep my focus on this number. Although I didn't say to puff my ears up, I can only see this number clearly and stop. Under such high intensity and engaging training, would the gunners be able to accurately lock onto their targets? What kind of performance would the new recruit Chen Yu deliver during his first live fire assessment? Attention ahead, do not blink. 
Aim the tip of that pointed arrow with the crosshair right at our aiming point, it must align precisely with that mark, and even under pressure, we have to get this right. Thanks to the squad leader's comprehensive and engaging training methods, the gunners, despite the fierce winds and harsh weather conditions, were still able to achieve an outstanding result, with dozens of rounds fired in a volley completely covering the target area. The new recruit Xingyu, who temporarily served as the gunner during the live fire exercise, successfully completed his task, bringing him one step closer to becoming a composed artilleryman. After the live fire exercise, everyone was immersed in the joy of their success. Within the 82nd Group Army, the armored warriors have a unique way of celebrating by washing their faces. On the vast grasslands, with wind and sand swirling around them, they conducted field training. At the end of the day, during evening cleanup, each tank crew member's face was noticeably laden with sand. I compared our faces and found that they were about the same. Just a couple of days ago, when the company commander looked in the mirror, he commented that his face was even darker than Zhang Kai's, saying, am I blacker than Zhang Kai now? After returning home that night, I hurriedly looked in the mirror to see just how dark I had become, I also had places on my face that were marked. My nose is injured, and my face has adapted to the normal operations, I've gotten used to eating dirt on the training ground every day, and my skin has become deeply tanned, these are all badges of honor for the armored warriors. No matter how harsh and challenging the training environment may be, it cannot dampen the soldiers' high spirits and enthusiasm for training. Zhang Kai's training, which closely simulates actual combat, continues, currently, he is preparing a spicy stir-fried beef dish. When camping in the field, the conditions are relatively tough, and the climate can be quite severe. On a day like today, such weather is perfect for enjoying a spicy dish, specifically braised pig's trotters. During lunch today, we also had watermelon, and we prepared some mangoes, out in the field, everyone tends to feel quite thirsty given the high intensity of training. The recipes and fruit pairings are all designed with nutritional balance in mind, it smells absolutely delicious.